Hello there, my name is Justin Leo Kennedy. I'm creative director and sound specialist at Baltu Studios, and welcome to this tutorial series where we will create a Max for Live patch in Ableton that will be controlled by Nintendo Wiimote. The first video in this tutorial series will show you how to connect your Wiimote to your computer using software called Osculator. So even if you are not watching this to complete the entire tutorial, this particular first video is useful in that it can help you learn to use a Wiimote with Osculator. So first of all, what is OSC? Well, OSC is an abbreviation that stands for Open Sound Control. It is a protocol that was developed by the Center for New Music and Audio Technologies at UC Berkeley. Uh, if you want to learn more about OSC, I suggest going to opensoundcontrol.org. So what's Osculator? Well, if we take a look here, this is Osculator. Osculator is a software that harnesses the OSC protocol. And it supports controllers like a Nintendo Wiimote, an iPhone using Touch OSC, a Wacom tablet, and it can be used in combination with software such as Max MSP, Pure Data, Ableton Live, and even Kima Sound Design Environment. In this tutorial, Osculator is going to serve as a client, and Max MSP will be the host. Now, let's get started by connecting the Wiimote to Osculator. So, of course, make sure you have batteries in your Wiimote. I know that sounds obvious, but make sure you have batteries in your Wiimote. Secondly, Let's take a look here. Make sure that your Bluetooth is on. If it's not on, go to your system preferences and turn Bluetooth on. Now, open Osculator. I have it open here. And click the parameters wheel right here. It kind of looks like a little wheel. Great. Now, make sure that you're on devices. You're not on MIDI. You're not on key combos, whatever. Be on devices. Click devices. Right now, before we click this pair a Wiimote, because that is the next thing we're going to want to do, make sure the back of your Wiimote, where the, the battery uh, cover is, make sure you remove that battery cover because we actually want to press a little red button on the back of the Wiimote. So, first, press pair a Wiimote or click pair a Wiimote. Now, press the little red button. An osculator should find the Wiimote for us, and it has. Excellent. Now, press every single button on the Wiimote. So that's a lot of fun, right? Uh, and now we have all of the buttons and all of the controls that we're going to want to going to want to send into Max, which is great. So now uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to select all of these. So click where I just clicked and then hold shift and then click down here, right? So you can select everything. Now go to the event type drop down arrow and click OSC message. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to value, go to the value uh, drop down arrow, click new. And here, uh, what we want to do actually, uh, this says Pete's iMac, that's my colleague. Uh, I am here at the Baltu Studios uh, location in Tempe, Arizona, so uh, Pete is a colleague of mine. But uh, we want to actually go to targets and we want to create a target here. So click this little wheel and you want localhost 9000. Now remember we said Osculator is going to be the client and we said that Max MSP is going to be the host. So you want to make sure that this is 9000 and you don't want, the, in other words, you don't want this port number and this number to match. You don't want them to match. So click 9000, it says Max MSP or PR data, so it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and click that. Now, uh, excellent, we have uh, all of these values selected. You'd probably put something else here, choose a one or whatever, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on that for now, and that should be fine. All right, great, now we have all of these green boxes and Osculator, and that's, that's a good sign. So now you'll probably notice here in the background, I have a synthesizer in Max MSP. And this is a gestural granular synthesizer. That is a granular synthesizer that you can control with gestural data. And we're going to control it with the Wemo. And the reason I wanted to show you this synthesizer is because this synth in particular demonstrates an application of this. You see this PRY, that stands for pitch, roll, and yaw. And this synthesizer demonstrates kind of what those concepts are 
And um, before I do that, I do want to just mention here that uh, you also see Excel down here. This is scalar Excel data, and that's basically got to do with how fast you might be moving the Wiimote. But getting back to pitch, roll, and yaw, let's go ahead and click this button and reveal the data. There we are. So pitch kind of has to do with up and down motion, right? And yaw has to do with more or less left to right motion. It'd be a little bit finicky, a little bit glitchy, but that's basically what yaw is gonna uh, be, more or less left to right uh, data. And then roll has to do with rolling your wrist. Now I'm gonna just turn the volume down here real quick and just to show you visually when I roll my wrist, so you can see it is seeing that data. Now, with this synthesizer, if I move up, there's gonna be a high pass filter that emphasizes the pitch data. If I move down, it's gonna emphasize uh, a low pass filter. It's gonna turn up, excuse me, the amplitude on a low pass filter. If I move left, it's gonna pan left. If I move right, it's gonna pan right. And when I roll my wrist, it's gonna make these nice little spark sounds. So let's listen to what that sounds like. And you can really get a better sense of what that roll data, what that, like those pop sounds uh, are when I change the setting. Right, so there you have it. There's one application of pitch roll and yaw data. So tune in to the next tutorial uh, where we will build, uh, we'll start building in Max for Live.